How's it going everyone? I'm finally back with another video. You know, I'm sorry for the delay, but I've been really busy with my own projects. If you didn't know, and if you didn't, it would surprise me because I, I've left a I've left this at the top of every description for every video. I recently released a course that teaches you how to how to send a few cold emails a day to land paying clients for your B2B business. If you want to learn more about that, there's a link in the description. Go ahead and follow that, and you can see what the course is about. Um, it's only $99, so you know, go take a look and see if it interests you. Anyways, let's get to this video and what this video is about. Um, as I'm sure you're well aware, TikTok is taking over the entire world, uh, possibly getting banned by the United States. I'm not sure if that went through or not. I don't think so, though, because I have it loaded up right on my screen. <laughs> but anyways... What this means for us is it's a new it's a new place for us to go gather information from. Now, um, I have the basic search operator that I'm going to use to scrape TikTok and pull valuable information from it. And that search operator is site, HTTPS, all that good stuff, TikTok.com slash an at symbol. Now, this last little portion is very important because this is going to tell Google only return TikTok profiles. If you see what I have here, I put for the rest of the search, search operator, in text, gmail.com, and I'm just throwing out a random niche, uh, makeup. You can see that returned 827 results. I'd actually probably want to clean this up so I can get this, this number down to 300 because that's all Google will let you get. So, well anyways, let's click into a couple of these and you'll see why it's important to have this. Uh, this page is no longer, doesn't exist, but no big deal. You can still see what I want to tell you. Every profile is going to have this in the URL. TikTok.com backslash at, and then the username. So when you build a search operator, do not forget to put this in there, because if you don't, it's going to give you results that you really don't want. So we'll just go to another one, and you'll see again the at symbol, and again the at symbol. And the other part about it is look at that, a nice email right there that we can send to if you're in the makeup niche. Same here, but no surprise because this is what my search operator is looking for, right? So let's throw this in the screen box and see what we can get real quick. Throw this in, start harvesting. Proxy is enabled, start. I'll let this run, and then I'll come back and we'll see what we get. It's finished up, it returned us 260 results. We're gonna go back, we're gonna click close, and then before we try to grab the email, you always wanna do this, remove filter, remove duplicate URLs. So we have 260 to start, I removed one, awesome. Now to grab the email, grab check, grab emails by crawling sites, from here, make sure this is checked. Use harvester URLs. The depth is only one because we only want to look at the page that's in the harvester. Then click start. I'll wait for it. To, I'll wait for it to finish, and then I'll come back and see what we get. It's finished up. From the 259 URLs that we gave it, it returned us 459 emails, which is surprising. So I'll click in here and see if maybe it's a lot of duplicates which I'm assuming it might be, because that's, that's quite a bit. And yeah, you can see already, that's a lot of duplicates. But, I mean, you go in there, you move the duplicates, and then you have a fresh list to send to. But let's say that you want more information from the profile than just, you know, just an email. We can close this out, and then we can build um, our own custom grabber. So click Grab Check, Custom Data Grabber, and then create edit grabber. From here, just give it a name. We'll call it TikTok. And we're just gonna copy this down. Uh, we'll add whatever. Call it TikTok. TikTok. And we're gonna save as new module. Now we're gonna select this module and then click edit module masks. And then for each piece of information that we want to grab, we got to set up the mask. So we'll click open a profile. And then on our keyboard, we're going to click Control U for Windows computer. On a Mac, I'm not sure what it would be. 
but that opens the source panel. And this is how we grab more information from the page. So let's say that we want to grab how many people they're following, or maybe you just want to grab followers. Let's grab followers. This is more relevant for seeing who's worth reaching out to and things like that. So we'll look for the word followers over here, control F to bring up the search. And actually let's look for 33.3. There it is right there. Um, we're looking for something that's unique that we can copy to tell Spraybox, hey, this is the information that comes before the piece of information that we want. So, not look, it's not looking like we can find something though. Let's see, because all of this is kind of, this could work out though, let's try this. So instead of just grabbing the, the amount of followers, we're gonna grab her entire bio, which is all of this. So let's try this out. Go back to Scrapebox. The name of the mask is, we'll call it bio. And then before underscore after equals, let's see. Copy that, the pipe, and then we want what comes after that. And that is this. Paste that in and save this new mask. Hit close. Close this. Now we're going to try that scrape again. Grab check, custom data grabber. TikTok, save your URLs with, with straight data, with the extracted data, and click start. So it's finished up, and now we want to look at the data. So we're going to click show data folder. And here we have it. We're going to open this. And now you can see that we pulled. So here's the TikTok URL that we scraped. And here's the entire bio of that page. Same thing with this one. So now within this, we have a lot of information about each user. So let's use this one as an example. Open this page up and compare it to what we have here. Was it her name is Ashton Lee? Here he goes right there. 368,000 likes, right there. 23,000 fans, right there. And then it has her bio. Makeup, art, photography, business, and there's her email. So this is you know, a great way to build a, a targeted list for your outreach for your business really, really fast. And the added benefit of having all of this information to actually look and see who's worth reaching out to. And you can see this, like this girl right here has 23,000 followers. So if you're in the makeup niche, excellent person to reach out to. So, you know, I hope that you guys got some uh, value out of this video. If you did, go ahead and like, like the video and comment. Help me out. Anyways, um, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you in the next one.